Hello and welcome, just another quick code structure walkthrough. So this is our module 9 camera projection task. So it looks a bit crazy over here and everything but don't stress. So essentially we start off with our read node which of course is just a still image. And with our read node we have our project 3D which has a read geode. So if we zoom right out, or in, it's generally a block that takes up a set amount of space. So we have our Project 3D1, Project 3D2, and Project 3D3. So we have also connected in our Roto Paint where we've done some slight shading in using our roto paint tool as previously used in other things to make this building stand out a bit more within the 3d scene so as it goes on with that we have our scene one our projection cam which is connected into project 3d2 and we have read geodes connected in with all of our projects. So with the projection cam it is intertwined with each and every one of these. As you can see it's got connector here, connector there and they all connect into your project 3Ds. Uh, we then have our scene one which connects into our scanline render which we have provided a shot cam and an axis. So with the axis, the axis allows us to do the rotation with our video imagery. So, as you can see with the scanline render, it has Fly Ginza. This is slightly tidied up. We did a unpremolt, added a filter erode and a premolt. So just to show what they're sort of doing, you can see it's slight shading up in here. And then with the erode, it also darkens up that area a little bit. Our unpremolt is to pretty much reset that. So as we go up here, you can probably see we have our merge 3 over, which pretty much merges this imagery over. So what we have done here is got a Photoshop design. We've added our grid. And this Photoshop design comes with four backdrop nodes, which has Shuffle 1, Shuffle 2, Shuffle 3, and Shuffle 4. We have our crops in play as well, as you can see, as well as our Merge 1 Liner Dodge, Merge 2 Color Burn, and Merge 3 Normal. After our Merge 3 Normal, we have our Grade, which connects in our grid with the Read node to our PSD Merge 3. And after the Grade, we have Transform. So the Transform is connected in with our Merge 2 over here, which we added a constant. Now, this constant has no alpha channel here, as you can see. And then the shuffle adds that alpha channel. We then merge that over the top, have a ramp so we can have some directional lighting coming in. And then our corner pin to stabilize it over. So after all that, you can see that we have our merge one over and then we are writing. So if I just press play, we will let this load a bit. I'll do the same similar thing that I did with the last one, and that's just stretching this out a bit to make it nice and large. So we'll let this render through. It's one to 100 frames. So as you can see, they've the corners are angled to level it out to make it look a lot neater and you can see the definition in the building. This 
2D image has been transformed from 2D to 3D as you can see with it zooming in and out and it makes it feel more immersive. So going along the lines of all of that we have our curve editor. So you can see that it looks a little bit messy but that's perfectly fine. That's not a stress at all. We have our scanline render and the axis is the one that adds all our rotates. So if I just remove all of these and just stop this, you can see it's got the different translates and everything. And I zoom in here. And you can see that it's all been angled in a specific way. So let's just have a look, try to find the thing that I'm specifically looking for. I can't exactly remember at this time, but as I open it, it will make me feel dumb. So our roto paint was all of this edging. <coughs> Our projection cam, we have our shot cam, and then we have our axis. So you can see with the axis that it slowly adjusts on the translate. So if I just quickly skim, you can see that the numbers adjust. So all the way up to 100. So let's just do the quick playthrough again. You can see it's loading a lot faster because it knows where to load from now. So all of this needs to get edited. You edit your dope sheet as well. So you have your node graph, your curve editor, and your dope sheet. And you get to create products like this.